Okay, we're rolling. Okay. So first, just tell us your name and how to spell it for the record, even though we know. Alex okay. Golubenko. G. O L U B E N K O. G O L U B E N K O. Okay. And you live here in Manhasset? Yes. And you were telling me before you were born in Kyiv. Uh, you came here in 1988. Yes. And uh, when you were 14 years old, and now you have your sister who was in Kyiv. You got her out. You were able to get her here. She's on a six month guest visa, but you're trying to get her immigration, some kind of immigration status, right? Yes, to of course. You know, she has to be, you know, considered a refugee um, and stay here. Um, what, are United States. what are your concerns with her? What, what do you hope will happen? Uh, I just, you know, I hope, I, I know, you know, the United States will help. It, it does. And, you know, I'm a United States citizen and this is my country. You know, my, my genes are in Ukraine, but, you know, my heart and everything else is in the United States. You know, it's, it's, you know, where I grew up, this is, you know, where I'm married, where I have kids. So I know the United States is, is the best country and it's going to help, you know, any way it's possible. Um, especially at this moment with, you know, hardship for Ukrainians. Sure. But what are you hoping for your sister and your nephew? I want him to stay here. You know, he's, 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 a, he's a great kid, curious, you know, wants to learn, he always asks questions. He just has so much energy. And for him, this is the future, you know, being in this, you know, knowing myself, coming here when I was 14 years old. Sure. This is, you know, has opportunities as long as you, you know, work hard and, you know, you kind of uh, persevere, don't give up. Um, there are always opportunities and there are always people to help um, in this country. So um, what, what, do you, what do you hope will happen next, especially for your sister and your nephew? Obviously, you don't want them to go back. Definitely not. Definitely not because this is, you know, even though it seems it's going to, you know, there are some negotiations, it, it just looks it's going to take, you know, longer and longer. So um, thanks to... Manhasset School District and all people around. He is starting school on Tuesday, um, which is the best thing. And everybody has been just amazing um, in this area in Long Island, um, helping. Um, but Manhasset School District and Shelter Rock, they're just you know went above and beyond. And Manhasset Soccer Club already, uh, he played soccer already, providing you know free tuition and, and and gear and everything included. Just knowing our situation and you know where they came from. Um, so, you know, for him to learn English, you know, to, to, you know, and, and I hope, really hope that he can stay here. Sure. That'll come in time, I'm sure. Yes. And with your sister, if, if you can ask her or if you can find out, uh, even now, like you can ask her, um, is she scared? Is she scared for her husband? Is she scared that she'll have to go back after six months if, if she wants to join you? Okay. Right come, come. Yeah, yeah. Lena, so, она спрашивает, если yeah. ты боишься за Виталика, за своего мужа, Боишься ли ты возвращаться обратно в, в Киев в данную ситуацию? А, ты можешь мне говорить, как Конечно, просто... очень страшно, очень переживаю за мужа своего. Мы все надеемся, что это скоро все закончится. She, she, she's very afraid for her husband. You know, he's, you know, he's doing his duty and he's staying behind. He's in, in, in defense forces and, you know, helping out. We cannot disclose where, but, um, you know, She's very scary. She hopes, you know, it's going to end. They definitely, you know, want to come back home. Um, you know, he wants to come home. She wants to kind of, you know, she wants to come back home. But, you know, at this point I have to plan and we have to plan that, you know, this is going to be their home, um, you know, for the, for the future. And ask Nikita, uh, what does he think of the U.S. so far? What do you think about America? Do you like it? Yes, I like it. likes it a lot. Что тебе нравится больше всего? Mm. What do you like What's the most? Yeah. Huh? Water. He likes the city, Manhasset. He likes, you know, the area. It says very beautiful. What does he hope will happen next? Как ты думаешь, что ты надеешься случится дальше, в будущем? А что должно случиться? Ну, что-то может быть с войной, что она закончится. Что ты думаешь? No, he, he hopes the war should be over, you know, soon. And, you know, we're going to rebuild the Ukrainian uh, country, 
and it's going to make you know one of the best countries in Europe. And then he said that. He's wow, a smart kid. Smart yeah. kid. He's very he's smart. Very kid. smart. Wow. And um, I'm sure that while you're here, you know, people know that uh, they're here, and 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 we're trying to make it as as comfortable as possible for them as well, because it, it's terrible what's going on in Ukraine right now. Um, have you seen an outpouring of support from the community? Yes, I mean, um, everywhere, you know, throughout the United States. I mean, you know, Long Island, Manhattan, especially. I have already, as soon as I reached out, and people knew where I was coming from. You know, we started receiving donations, which went for uh, for medical uh, for medical hospitals in Kiev, Ukraine. The Children's Hospital we already donated. We already so all the money they received, hundred percent with no fees goes exactly to, went to National Cancer Institute of Ukraine, the Children's Hospital um, in Kiev. Um, certain things were purchased, medical supplies and medicine were purchased with um, Dr. Sean Yunai, who's an OBGYN. Uh, he has his own clinic and he's been doing this also since 2016 with nonprofit. So he ha- we sent 5,000 pounds of medicine and medical supplies last Monday. They went to Lviv, Kharkiv, and Kiev, and you know we, we're trying to focus on, on on medical side as well. I'm a, I'm a doctor of physical therapy. My best friend is a urologist doctor. Doctor Shunayev is OBGYN, so we're just doing this. Mm-hmm. It's not our primary thing. It's just something we needed to do for us. Sure. And you know, support from this community has been amazing. You know, um, you know, a couple of people helped out immediately. You know, Irene Rallies from uh, Douglas Salomon Real Estate reached out immediately. Um, Andrea and her team um, from LI Lux and Mike McNulty from construction company. So they just immediately said, you know, this, this goes for Ukraine, you know, help. And as I said, Manhasset um, Soccer Club, Manhasset School District, all the people around the area, even on the groups, Manhasset Neighbors, Manhasset United, everybody just reached out with advice where to reach, what to do with donations. You know, I, I'm, I'm very happy, you know. I'm sure you've told your sister and your nephew about all of this, all of the yes. outpouring. What do they think about that? They're, they're, yes, yes. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, they ask, what do you think about the support that you get from the community, for example, the football team, the school, how do you actually react to it? I'm in the past that people are so attracted to not only Да, в Соединенных Штатах, но и в других странах. Все готовы как бы помочь, разделить нашу боль. Вот. И <coughs> такой реакции, конечно, я не ожидала, что сразу вот так и в школу, и помощь предлагают. So she didn't expect this much support and outpouring and, and you know, kind of unconditional from United States and European countries. It just she didn't expect that you know this would happen that fast you know with the school with everything else with the with the donations with the with support for her country it's just you know she said i'm just i just cannot believe this is happening especially that fast with everybody around people that don't know us uh and other countries um as well um so the outpouring surprised her yes it's it's nice i'm sure it makes the them feel good no Yes, yeah. um, you know, they're, they're happy, they're happy, they're safe. The, 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 the most important thing, they, you know, they're safe. They had a hard journey to, to leave uh, Kiev. It was not easy. It's not like you could take a car and just go, you know, so because... Actually, I'm going to ask you that real quick. What was it like for them to leave Ukraine? So it was difficult for all of us because I was trying to get them out for about, you know, two, three weeks. They immediately, when they started moving, there was so much traffic, they couldn't get to Poland. And the car wasn't, you know, working properly, so it didn't want to get stuck. So they were somewhere in the suburbs, about two hours away from Kiev, since 25th of um, of uh, February, and they stayed there. And then we had people that don't know us, people that friends through friends. They just got a van with ten people inside of it, came to pick her up at night, stayed at night. At their, you know, at their place, nobody knew each other. They just stayed, you know. And in the morning, the person who was driving the van, if he's a volunteer, he didn't take money for gas, he didn't take money for anything. He just took them in the morning, drove them to the border, 
had to drop them off. Then they stood in a cold, in a minus degree weather for like eight hours outside, waiting for the bus to be picked up, pick them up. I think they slept in, um, she was telling me the story, in a school that was uh, just, uh, just rearranged with beds. They stayed there overnight. And then our friends and her friends from Germany drove 13 hours, picked her up at the border, took her with her for about two weeks. I told them, you know, just kind of for now, just let her kind of calm down, relax from what she's seen, you know, you know, bombs, rockets, you know, destruction, everything, her husband behind. And then, um, you know, once she kind of everything settled a little bit, you know, we got him here. Um, just got, a, you know, the plane tickets and got him here. But that... I think coming from... So from Germany? From Germany, yes. A plane ticket here. Yeah. Um, what was it like for Nikita? If you can ask him, um, you know, this is traumatizing for a 10-year-old. This is not something that a 10-year-old usually sees. They don't see war. They don't see their dad being left behind. They don't see all this destruction. What so I'm not... Like so him? I talked to him, so I don't... I, you know, I'm going to ask him as well. But he's not... Um, He's not talking about it as much, but yeah. the way, you know, behavior, some tantrums, yeah. you, you, you could see that it's painful for him, you know. So he doesn't, you know, he's usually, you know, he was here in August, you know. He's definitely was more, much more happier and more kind of, you know, now it's, 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 it's difficult. He doesn't show it as much. He tries to hide it. But for a 10-year-old going through this, leaving your home, your father, seeing your country being destroyed it's you know it's it, it's 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 very difficult and um do you want me to ask him if if he can answer it that'd be great if if he doesn't want to talk about it it's okay too. скажи мне как ты себя чувствуешь вот то что ты уехал то что um, там война то что very sad uh, that father stayed there and, you know, so, you know, it's hoping that it's going to end soon and, you know, his father can come um, or they can go back. I mean, that's going to be a decision. You know, I definitely want him to stay, you know, for the future if it's possible. And But I really hope it's going to end um, and we can rebuild, you know, Ukraine and we can help. Yeah. And um, Have you guys talked to... Um yeah, but every day we talk to him every day. Not too much, you know. Um, but you know, on a daily basis, you know, we try to talk. So for now, it's it's you know quiet. But you have a lot of activity around. Um, a lot of you know. They, they let the Russian forces let up a little bit yesterday. I was looking at the news. Uh, is that something that you hope will continue? That maybe this will end soon. Uh, maybe this will you know. I, you know, we hope every day. I mean, we hope this wouldn't happen. We couldn't believe it did, and it went that far. Um, you know, we have also a lot of Russian-speaking friends um, that are against this. You know, people that came here from Russian territories that, you know, your Soviet Union, they just speak Russian. It doesn't mean they support us. And, you know, that's the important thing I want people to understand. It's just because... They were born in Moscow or St. Petersburg, and they live in the United States. It doesn't mean they support us. So this is, I think, important for for us Americans and people that are, you know don't understand that this is how important it is. And same thing over there. You know, we have your relatives, friends over there in in Russia as well, and they they are scared. They don't support this, and you know they against this as well. Um, is there so, anything else that you want to add? that you want to touch base on, that you want to let people know about on here on Long Island that you think is important with your sister, with your nephew, with everything going on? Um, I think it, the most important thing I, I, you know, I would ask is that people you know, speak up, maybe talk to politicians, to congressmen, at least get you know, the people, I understand that, you know, blocking the airspace is not something that we can decide, we, something we can talk about. But at least the people that are uh, fleeing Ukraine, I mean, countries like Poland and the entire Europe and even Canada, they already kind of opened their doors and, and you know, gave some kind of benefits or some kind of legal status to people that are coming from Ukraine. So I'm just perplexed and I don't understand why United States is not, 
is not helping a lot more than than you know than other kind. I mean, Poland is is amazing. You know, it's it's they they accepted three million refugees already. They are helping every day. The strain on their economy in the country is tremendous, but they're still helping people here from Poland. Help um, there, you know, Poland is a country and Polish people. You know, we have to thank them you know, immensely. I mean, there's no no. I think there's no way to thank them, just how much they, they did and, and keep doing. Um, Is there but, anything else that they want, uh -huh. if you can ask them, uh -huh. if they want to add anything else uh, toward the end of the interview now, you know, if they want to say anything, now's the time. Ну, что-то хотите сказать? Ну, надеемся, что все закончится в ближайшем будущем, и что воссоединимся, семья будет вместе. So she hopes it's going to end soon, and you know we're going to, you know, kind of uh, um, reunite with her husband and with the family. Her her mom is in Poland also, um, so and um, you know she hopes everything is going to be over soon, and it's uh, you know they want to came, they want to go back, you know definitely, um, you know that's a, that's the first choice that they they want, and. Um, you know, for the war to be over, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's something, you know, it's natural. Um, anything else that Nikita wants to say? Anything you want to say? Something you want to say? No, 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 listen. Something you want to say? No. No? No. Um, if I could just say just a couple of things, I don't know what, you know, uh, what you guys, so, um, help, um, Help for Ukraine dot com. That's kind of our. It's myself and my best friend, who's a doctor, chairman of urology at the Upstate Medical Center. Uh, so we just started this when we were just. And you what know. are you guys doing? With that? So we are, uh, as I said, we're supporting the medical personnel, medical hospitals. We acquire medicine supplies that goes directly to the sources in Ukraine. We're raising money. Money. Or, yeah, or we're raising you? money. Okay, got it. So. That's something that's so important. That's, that's something that you and this doctor. Right? Yes, we just started. Yeah, that's wonderful because sometimes people don't know where to donate. Huh? So you're you're and, legit. And and like, and we also you know, yes. And we also have a partner because a lot of people are asking about a nonprofit donations. So that's Dr. Sean Yunayev and Trans uh, Transatlantic. Um, American uh, fund. I will tell you exactly what it is, yeah. and he's been doing great. So, as I said, he goes there personally since 2016. Mm -hmm. He he's a doctor himself, so he knows what kind of surgical equipment supplies that they need. Mm -hmm. um, me and my best friend, about a week and a half ago, we procured medical supplies and medicine from uh, five or six hospitals in Central New York, Upstate New York. He drove a Yuhu truck to Albany. I picked it up at Albany, drove it here. We unloaded with the Dr. Yunayev at night. And then all of this stuff is in, a, is in a plane, you know, going to Poland and then to Lviv and to other places. And for maternity wards, for Nyanne, because he's OBGYN, so it helps the, you know, um, it helps the doctors for, you know, for, for newborns and it helps with short surgical supplies. So if that's something could be mentioned where people can just help out, donate, um, you know, hundred percent, hundred percent. It's yeah. it's only, you know, it's only our time. That's the only payment I take. Is is my time and effort and you know, kind of. I don't even want to try to do a lot of donation platforms because they take percentages. So even three, four yeah, percent no, that no. they take, yeah. I you know we don't want. Yeah. So we cover our ex expenses, whatever is associated with the, you know. Uh, a law firm on Long Island, if you want to mention, for Chelly, I don't know if you know that, they actually provided free services of opening up the corporations nice. and uh, helping us with non-profit. Okay. Um, you know, I can send you more stuff if you need it. Sure.